So there's only so many hours in the day and the harder you work and the more hours you put in, you get rewarded for, right? In this video, I wanna talk with you about how just cutting out just a couple hours out of your daily rest can have a profound negative impact on your physical and emotional well-being. Trust me, I have been there. I run several businesses. I have four kiddos and we are a very busy family. And babies and going businesses keeps you up late. If you've been in either of those situations, you know how easy it is to lose out on sleep. So sleep is a concept that's really important to me and I wanted to share it with you. In fact, a 2016 Center for Disease Control study found that a third of Americans aren't getting adequate sleep. So this is something that a lot of us are dealing with and I think that as people, not enough of us realize just how important sleep is for our overall well-being. So let's get started. Okay, so the current consensus is that people need about seven hours of good restful sleep a day. But what happens when you go under that? A lot of people intuitively don't really think that losing out on a few hours of sleep really has a super big impact on their well-being or how they function that day. But in reality, this can have a negative impact on so many aspects of your life. So let's take a look at the top reasons for why you need better sleep. Number one, inadequate sleep can increase your risk for cardiovascular disease, which is a leading cause of death. So we definitely wanna take this sleep seriously. And the easiest way to make sure that you are getting that adequate sleep is to target that seven hours a night. Sleep also plays an important role for your immunity. And research has shown that not getting good enough sleep for even one night can have a negative impact on your immune system's ability to respond appropriately to illness. And that could cause you to be more susceptible to common illnesses, common colds, and then other respiratory illnesses. By getting enough sleep, you're gonna be increasing your chances of living longer and not feeling sick all the time. So those are two big wins. Sleep deprivation can also lead to emotional disorders and psychological disorders like depression and anxiety. And the reason for this is likely because if you get less sleep, that affects your melatonin secretion, which would then affect neurochemicals in your brain that cause you to feel joy. When you're getting adequate sleep, at normal levels, but if you impact that, it could have an effect on your ability to fight off depression. And these neurochemicals aren't just related to fighting off your ability for emotional disorders. They also can have an impact on your cognition and how you think. Even short-term sleep deprivation can have a pretty big impact on your cognitive abilities. So if you've noticed that you just feel so sluggish because you didn't get enough sleep, you're not making the right decisions, you keep saying the wrong words, which happens to me all the time when I don't get enough sleep, and you just overall can't function the way that you know you normally can. And speaking of having the ability to be alert and attentive, not getting enough sleep actually can look the same as a drunk driver while you're driving because of your inability to focus and stay alert. Sleep also plays an important role in energy metabolism. And that means for people who are not getting adequate sleep, they have a higher propensity for obesity as well. And this actually applies to both children and adults. And that's because not getting enough sleep actually has an impact on the hormones that make you feel hungry and that make you feel full. So if you feel hungry all the time and you feel like you never can get full, that's gonna reduce your ability to stop eating and stop getting all this dietary intake. That's gonna cause you to overeat, which over time can cause you to become overweight and obese, and then that can lead to a whole other slew of issues. And this is particularly true for women. And if you're like me and you didn't get enough sleep, the whole rest of the next day, you are hungry hungry and you feel like you're craving carbs and even if you go and eat those carbs you still feel hungry because your body is just like nope I'm broken today you need to fix me and you didn't get enough sleep and so now I'm gonna be all off and so these impairments in your appetite suppressing hormones can also lead to your chances of developing type 2 diabetes so if you've been following me for a while you know that I've talked about sleep as a big proponent of a healthy lifestyle and how to lose body fat get more energy and feel better about your Yourself. So even if you're doing other things correctly and you're trying to focus on a cleanish lifestyle and you're trying to get exercise and daily steps, if you're not also getting that sleep, your body is gonna work against you in that process and you're gonna be fighting yourself. And while we're talking about that cleanish lifestyle, paying attention to your sleep is going to also reduce your inflammation. And inflammation is so important for many of us because if you aren't feeling well, if you're feeling puffy and you're feeling uncomfortable because of chronic inflammation, you're not gonna be as willing 
willing to go and follow a cleanish lifestyle and go exercise, go get that movement. But the good news is getting more sleep and getting this adequate sleep will reduce those inflammatory markers in your body and will allow you to reduce overall chronic inflammation. So I have other videos that you can watch on how to incorporate more anti-inflammatory foods and how to get daily steps to reduce inflammation. But at the end of the day, quite literally, if you're not getting your good sleep, it's going to have a negative impact even if you're doing those other parts. And you know, sleep is so glorious that this is not a hard one, this is not a hard ask. And you know, not getting that adequate sleep doesn't allow our body to really recharge, refuel, and recalibrate so that we have an effective day the next day. And to that point, a 2009 study showed that sleep deprivation actually had a negative impact on endurance performance. So even though the participants put in the exact same amount of effort as normal, they actually weren't able to perform as well. And with strength training, which you know I love and I am a big fan of, it's been also shown that not getting enough sleep over the course of a few days can have a negative impact on your strength as well. So that's why I say sometimes if you aren't getting where you want to in the gym and you feel like you're just running on empty, might be better actually to go take a nap or have a good night's sleep and skip that morning workout rather than forcing yourself to go work out on poor sleep. And I know that can be hard for some people because you know working out is part of what our daily routine, but you're just gonna be working against yourself if you don't get that good sleep to begin with. And research has also shown that it's not just sleep deprivation, but also poor sleep and interrupted sleep can have a negative impact on your blood pressure and the inflammatory response in your blood vessels. So if you're like me and sometimes you just kind of toss and turn and you're not getting good sleep, even though you're really trying to get that seven hours of sleep, yeah, unfortunately that could have a negative impact on blood pressure. Sleep, as you can imagine, also has a negative impact on your social life. So if you aren't getting that good sleep, it's going to affect how you respond in social situations. In fact, a 2018 study showed that sleep deprivation was correlated with being more socially withdrawn and increased feelings of loneliness. And there was also this interesting study done for women that showed that sleep deprivation affected their ability to correctly identify social cues. So they were confused in situations when someone was angry or happy. And if you haven't had a good night's sleep and you are misinterpreting what other people are saying and you feel like everybody is being mean to you, you're probably just misinterpreting it because you're tired, which has happened to me on a few occasions. So while many of these negative impacts of poor sleep can have a rebound, if you just go and have a good night's sleep and you get back into a good routine, there are some of these that can have very major effects like higher blood pressure, chronic inflammation, and cardiovascular disease. So we really wanna make sure that we start focusing on having a healthy, resting sleep time. And trust me, I get it. I know how difficult sleep can be sometimes, especially if you are a parent of young children and you have a lot of responsibilities for your work and you have a lot of stress in your life. And so I'm gonna be talking about in a future video how to get good sleep. But I wanted to bring up in this video all the reasons why we really need to start paying attention to this. You can't ignore that sleep because it has an impact on every aspect of our lives. So I'm curious, let me know if you're getting good sleep already or if you need some some help and any questions you have below and I will see you in the next video.